Many of the 1,250 ancient sculptures exhibited in the Uffizi Gallery served as inspiration for artists and objects of study for historians and anthropologists. If any of them should be destroyed, the loss would be permanent. The ultra-long-term preservation of physical objects in digital form, called photogrammetry, used to be a slow and expensive process. No more, says project leader, Indiana University professor Robert Frischer, via Skype. Now we can gather the 3D data on a life-size statue in a matter of a half hour, and we can process the data in, it really depends, um, uh, but in a matter of, of uh, a half hour to a couple of hours. Extremely precise images can be examined from all sides. Zooming in does not lower the resolution. Instead, it reveals more and more detail. Frischer says special software even makes it possible to look back in time. The Earth wobbles as it rotates uh, around its axis and around the sun, and the sky doesn't look the same today as it did a couple hundred years ago, let alone a few thousand years ago. The ultimate goal is to put the objects in a digitally restored environment with the ability to change its conditions. The atmosphere, the position of the sun or the stars or the moon, uh, have people move around uh, in the form of avatars uh, to see, understand human behavior in the past with respect to these spaces and the decorative objects like works of art in the spaces. Once finished, the digital backup copies of ancient statues will be published on several online sites and will be available to general public. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.